welcoming in our senior NBA insider, Adrian Wojnarowski. You broke this Russell Westbrook, John Wall trade story last night. How did this deal come about? Uh, Rachel, it came together quickly yesterday afternoon. Uh, Rafael Stone, Houston's GM, Tommy Shepard, Washington's GM, hadn't really had a conversation uh, about this potential trade since right before the draft. Uh, Thad Fouché from Wasserman, who is Russell Westbrook's agent, uh, helped to get those two talking again yesterday. And essentially, they knew what the deal would be, which would be one for one, Westbrook and Wall. And they got the, they got the draft uh, protections down. They were going to do one first round pick up in the future, 2023 protected. And, and they got a deal done there within just a few hours. Uh, pretty rare for a deal of this magnitude to come together so quickly. Uh, but they were on the trade call within three or four hours uh, from first talking yesterday. Wow. And of course, everybody wants to know about the dominoes that follow it, right? So what does this Westbrook trade mean for James Harden and his future status with the Rockets? The, the Rockets really don't know. They're hopeful that a healthy John Wall, a John Wall who regains his all-star form, uh, is somebody that James Harden is going to want to play with and stay longer term. And they've made some other moves, certainly roster-wise in Houston. They got Steven Silas is their new coach. Uh, but the one thing that the Rockets have going for them, it's a little different than Washington, is they have Harden on his, under contract for at least two more years. And that buys them some time to try to get this moving in the right direction. They don't want to trade James Harden. They've never really backed off of that. And so they want to give it time. Uh, listen, uh, John Wall's been out of the league for two years. And uh, as, gr as good as maybe he's looked in pickup games uh, in the offseason, that's not NBA basketball, and you would imagine it's going to take some time and then some time learning to play with James Harden. Uh, but for Houston, I think for both teams, they felt it was a trade they had to make. Each point guard wanted to be in the other place, uh, and it's hard to win in this league with guys who just don't want to be in town anymore. You made me think of something, Woj, when you mentioned the agents who were involved in the Westbrook wall deal. James Harden still doesn't have an agent right now. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Does that influence sort of how brokering gets done in the NBA if there's no agent involved? It's a good question. And, he, you know, he has like a business manager. He has a family that works alongside with him. But, yeah, he doesn't have a formal agent uh, anymore. And, you know, Rob Palenka was his agent previously uh, before Rob went on to run the Lakers. But, uh Listen, he's made it clear to them where he stands. That's that he wants a trade. He wanted it, wants a trade to Brooklyn. Uh, that's, not in, that's not in the offing right now. Um, listen, he has been in Houston, uh, you know, the center of that organization, both on the court and off the court, for years. Uh, and so they want to find a way to keep him, uh, and they'll see how this wall uh, experiment goes. They know there's risk. In this trade, again, this is a player coming off serious injuries, out for two years. Uh, they're hopeful that uh, a healthy John Wall uh, is is someone that James Harden decides he wants to play with, but but they don't know for sure. Well, you mentioned Rob Palinka, so let's move on to the Lakers because boy, Rob Palinka had quite an exceptional off season. This morning, you also broke the news of Anthony Davis taking the full five-year max from the defending champs. I remember you reporting on our free agency special. Davis was going to take his time to make his decision. Had multiple options before of how he wanted to structure this. How did him and his camp come to five years as opposed to taking something shorter? Well, obviously the guaranteed money and, you know, you can do a shorter deal, but there is always risk based on injury, based on a lot of factors. Uh, you're guaranteeing yourself $190 million uh, with this deal and a chance to go back potentially in the free agency. There's a player option, early termination uh, uh, option on the deal after the fourth year. Mm -hmm. So he'll be 32 years old. He can do a new deal with the Lakers or go into free agency. Uh, and, and go back and get, uh, you would think, if he stays healthy, another max deal. And, and so I think the security of those four years, LeBron James obviously signed up for just one year less than him. Mm -hmm. Hey, he wanted this trade to the Lakers. He got there. He won a championship. There's nowhere else he wants to play right now. Uh, I think it made sense to them to make that longer commitment to L.A.
Well, the rich get richer, and by the rich, I really mean everybody involved in that discussion. Woj, thank you so much for stopping Thanks, by. Rach. If any more bombs drop in the next hour, we'll be here. I just want to point that out. Thank you so much. I'll be here too. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.